Now to Chef Justin Sutherland, who's here with us right now. He is a celebrity chef who's cooked his way across the small screen, but his career was nearly cut short this summer when he was in a serious accident. Take a look. Whether he's heating up the competition Five oysters, two soup. or dishing out critiques as a judge on Chopped. It could have been a home run. Justin Sutherland is a classically trained French chef, opening his first restaurant in the Twin Cities, serving up his southern roots. Carving out a career as a celebrity chef, now operating seven award-winning restaurants. But it all came to a halt over this past 4th of July weekend. Justin falling off his boat and hit by the propeller. The injuries leaving him in the hospital for weeks, requiring multiple surgeries. Now on the road to recovery, Justin is back in the kitchen, ready to turn up the heat, hosting his new show, Taste the Culture, and finishing his first cookbook, Northern Soul. And Justin's here with us now. I could see you almost when you see those photographs cringed a little bit. Yeah. How are you doing? How's the recovery? You know, I, you know, I'm doing best case scenario, but yeah. you know, still a long, long ways to go. I mean, shout out to the people at Regions Hospital, that entire yeah. staff. I mean, they put me back together and, and allowed me to be here with you today. So thank and so you. And so here you are. We're so grateful that you're here and that you're doing much better. And we're going to get you back to cooking back yes. in the kitchen. All right. So tell us about the hot brown sandwich here, the history of it, and you're going to help us make it this morning. Absolutely. I mean, it's one of the most classic American sandwiches uh, created at the Brown Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky, uh, in 1926, actually. Um, it's an open-faced sandwich, traditionally served with turkey, uh, but my version that we do with handsome hog, uh, we do it with ham that we cure in-house. Um, so, you know, the build here, we start with some sourdough bread, okay. and then the sauce is a bechamel, which is a classic French sauce, but we uh, turn it into a Mornay um, by adding some cheese. Um, I'm using smoked cheddar and Gruyere. Uh, you can use any different kind of cheese that you want. We mix that up, and the secret, the key, is it's always finished with some fresh grated nutmeg. Okay. So we're going to hit a little bit of that. So is, is Mornay basically the same as bechamel? With just a little, it just seasoned up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, bechamel is one of those classic French mother, mother sauces, so you can add a lot of different things to that, and uh, Mornay is one of those. One of those Looks French so mother sauces. <laughs> yes. And tell us about your finishing touches. Yeah, you know, I, like I said, I hit it with a little bit of chives here, okay. and then traditionally this is served with tomatoes. Some people do it raw. We like to do these nice oven-roasted uh, tomatoes at Handsome Hog. But it's a fantastic sandwich, and then we can make it breakfasty by putting a beautiful sunny side up egg on top. That's what I'm that talking about. Yep. Especially on a weekend Delicious. morning. Now, how do you get into this? Do I mean, you yeah. like you yes. oh, yes. hands or fork? No, or this, this is, I mean, you can, but this okay. is a fork and knife sandwich. Got it. Okay. I see that. All right, well, we're going to get into this. Uh, Justin, thank you so much. Thank it's you so, so great much. to have you with us this morning. You can also scan the QR code right there on your screen to get the recipe on goodmorningamerica.com as well. Justin's cookbook, of course, Northern Soul, also out right now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.